High Priest Nicodemus used to meet with Jesus Christ at night. He knew him. He was an eyewitness of Jesus Christ. This is his gospel, formerly known as the Acts of Pilate. The Gospel of Nicodemus, formerly called the Acts of Pontius Pilate, Part 2. This is Chapter 2. Now when Pilate saw this, he was afraid and was about to rise from his seat. But when he thought to rise, his own wife, who stood at a distance, sent it to him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with this just man? For I have suffered much concerning him in a vision this night. When the Jews heard this, they said to Pilate, did we not say unto thee, He is a conjurer? Behold, he hath caused thy wife to dream. Pilate then called Jesus, said, Thou hast heard what they testify against thee, and makest no answer? Jesus replied, If they had not a power of speaking, they could not have spoke. But because every one has the command of his own tongue to speak both good and bad, let him look at it. Let him look to it. But the elders of the Jews answered and said to Jesus, What shall we look to? In the first place we know this concerneth thee, that thou wast born through fornication. Secondly, that upon the account of thy birth the infants were slain in Bethlehem. Thirdly, that thy father and mother Mary fled into Egypt because they could not trust their own people. Some of the Jews who stood to buy spake more favorably. We cannot say that he was born through fornication, but we know that his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, and so he was not born through fornication. Then said Pilate to the Jews, who affirmed him to be born through fornication, This your account is not true, seeing there was a betrothment, as they testify who are of your own nation. Annas and Caiaphas spoke to Pilate. All this multitude of people is to be regarded who cry out that he was born through fornication and is a conjurer, but they who deny him to be born through fornication are his proselytes and disciples. Pilate answered Annas and Caiaphas, Who are the proselytes? They answered, They are those who are the children of pagans and are not become Jews but followers of him. Him meaning Jesus Christ. Then replied Eleazar and Asterius and Antonius and James, Carus and Samuel, Isaac and Phineas, Crispus and Agrippa, Annas and Judas. We are not proselytes but children of Jews and speak the truth and were present when Mary was betrothed. Then Pilate addressed himself to the twelve men who spake thus, said to them, I conjure you by the life of Caesar that ye faithfully declare whether he was born through fornication and those things be true with which ye have related. They answered Pilate, We have a law whereby we are forbid to swear, it being a sin. Let them swear by the life of Caesar that it is not as we have said and we will be contented to, put, to be put to death. Then said Annas and Caiaphas to Pilate, Those twelve men will not believe that we know him to be basely born and to be a conjurer, although he pretends that he is the son of God and a king, which we are so far from believing that we tremble to hear. Then Pilate commanded everyone to go except the twelve men who said he was not born through fornication, and Jesus to withdraw to a distance and said to them, why have the Jews a mind to kill Jesus? Then they answered him, They are angry because he wrought cures on the Sabbath day. Pilate said, Will they kill him for good work? They said unto him, Yes, sir. Chapter 3 Then Pilate, filled with anger, went out of the hall and said to the Jews, I call the whole world to witness that I find no fault in the man. And Jews replied to Pilate, If he had not been a wicked person, we had not brought him before thee. Pilate said to them, Do ye take him and try him by your, own, by your law? Then the Jews said, It is not lawful for us to put anyone to death. Pilate said to the Jews, 
The command, therefore, thou shalt not kill, belongs to you, but not to me. And he went again into the hall and called Jesus by himself and said to him, Art thou the king of the Jews? And Jesus answered, said to Pilate, Dost thou speak this of thyself, or did the Jews tell it thee concerning me? Pilate answered, said to Jesus, Am I a Jew? The whole nation and rulers of the Jews have delivered thee up to me. What hast thou done? Jesus answered, saying, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight, and I should not have been delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from hence. Pilate said, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end I was born, and for this end came I into this world. And for this purpose I came, that I should bear witness to the truth, and every one who is of the truth heareth my voice. Pilate saith to him, What is truth? Jesus said, Truth is from heaven. Pilate said, Therefore truth is not on earth. Jesus said to Pilate, Believe that truth is on earth among those who, when they have the power of judgment, are governed by truth and form right judgment. Chapter 4 Then Pilate left Jesus in the hall and went out to the Jews and said, I find no fault. I find not any one fault in Jesus. The Jews say unto him, But he said, I can destroy the temple of God and in three days build it up again. Pilate saith unto them, What sort of temple is that of which he speaketh? The Jews say unto him, That which Solomon was forty-six years in building, he saith he would destroy and in three days build up. Pilate said to them again, I am innocent from the blood of that man, do ye look to it. The Jews say to him, His blood be upon us and our children. Then Pilate, calling together the elders and scribes, priests and Levites, saith to them privately, Do not act thus. I have found nothing in your charge against him concerning his curing sick persons and breathing the sa- breaking the Sabbath worthy of death. The priests and Levites replied to Pilate, By the life of Caesar, if anyone be a blasphemer, he is, a, he is worthy of death. But this man hath blasphemed against the Lord. Then the government again commanded the Jews to depart out of the hall, and calling Jesus said to him, What shall I do with thee? Jesus answered him, Do according as it is written. Pilate said to him, How is it written? Jesus saith to him, Moses and the prophets have prophesied concerning my suffering and resurrection. The Jews hearing this were provoked and said to Pilate, why wilt thou any longer hear the blasphemy, the blasphemy of that man? Pilate said to them, If these words seem to you blasphemy, do ye take him, bring him to your court, and try him according to your law. The Jews replied to Pilate, Our law saith, He shall be obliged to receive nine and thirty stripes, but if after this manner he shall blaspheme against the Lord, he shall be stoned. Pilate saith unto them, If that speech of this was blasphemy, do ye try him according to your law. The Jews saith to Pilate, Our law commands us not to put anyone to death. We desire that he may be crucified, because he deserves the death of the cross. Pilate saith to them, It is not fit he should be crucified. Let him be only whipped and sent away. But when the governor looked upon the people that were present and the Jews, He saw many of the Jews in tears and said to the chief priests of the Jews, All the people do not desire his death. The elders of the Jews answered to Pilate, We and all the people came hither for this very purpose, that he should die. Pilate saith to them, Why should he die? They said to him, Because he declares himself to be the Son of God and a King. Chapter 5 But Nicodemus, a certain Jew, stood before the governor and said, I entreat thee, O righteous judge, that thou wouldst favor me with the liberty of speaking a few words. Pilate said to him, Speak on. Nicodemus said, I spake to the elders of the Jews and the scribes and priests and Levites and all the multitude of the Jews in their assembly, 
what is it ye would do with this man? He is a man who hath wrought many useful and glorious miracles, such as no man on earth ever wrought before, nor will ever work again. Let him go and do him no harm. If he cometh from God, his miracles, his miraculous cures will continue, but if from men they will come to naught. Thus Moses, when he was sent by God into Egypt, wrought the miracles which God commanded him before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And though the magicians of that country, Janus and Jambres, wrought by their magic the same miracles which Moses did, yet they, came, they could not work all which he did. And the miracles which the magicians wrought were not of God, as you know, O scribes and Pharisees, but they who wrought them perished, and all who believed in them. And now let this man go, because the very miracles for which ye accuse him are from God, and he is not worthy of death. The Jews then said to Nicodemus, Art thou become his disciple and making speeches in his favor? Nicodemus said to them, Is the governor became his disciple also, and does he make speeches for him? Did not Caesar place him in that high post? When the Jews heard this, they trembled and gnashed their teeth at Nicodemus and said to him, Mayest thou receive his doctrine for truth and have thou lot with Christ? Nicodemus replied, Amen, I will receive his doctrine and my lot with him, as ye have said. Then another certain Jew rose up and desired, desired leave of the governor to hear him a few words. And the governor said, Speak what thou hast in mind. And he said, I lay for thirty-eight years in the sheep pool at Jerusalem, laboring under a great infirmity, and waiting for a cure which should be wrought by the coming of an angel, who at a certain time troubled the water, and whosoever first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatever disease he had. And when Jesus saw me languishing there, he said to me, Wilt thou be made whole? And I answered, Sir, I have no one when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. And he said unto me, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And I was immediately made whole, and took up my bed, and walked. The Jews then said to Pilate, Our Lord Governor, pray ask him what day it was on which he was cured of his infirmity. The infirm person replied, It was on the Sabbath. The Jews said to Pilate, Did we not say that he wrought his cures on the Sabbath and cast out devils by the prince of the devils? Then another certain Jew came forth and said, I was blind, could hear sounds, but could not see anyone. And as Jesus was going along, I heard the multitude passing by, and I asked what was there. They told me that Jesus was passing by. Then I cried out, saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And he stood still and commanded that I should be brought to him and said to me, What wilt thou? I said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And he said to me, Receive thy sight. And presently I saw and followed him rejoicing and giving thanks. Another Jew also came forth and said, I was a leper, and he cured me by his word only. I will by be thou clean. And presently I was cleansed from my, lep my leprosy. And another Jew came forth and said, I was crooked, and he made me straight by his word. And a certain woman named Veronica said, I was afflicted with the issue of blood twelve years. And I touched the hem of his garment, and presently the issue of my blood stopped. The Jews then said, We have a law that a woman shall not be allowed as an evidence. And after other things, another Jew said, I saw Jesus invited, invited to a wedding with his disciples, and there was a want of wine in Cana of Galilee. And when the wine was all drank, he commanded the servants that they should fill six pots which were there with water, and they filled them up to the brim, and he blessed them, and turned the water into wine, and all of the people drank, being surprised at this miracle. And another Jew stood forth and said, I saw Jesus teaching in the synagogue at Capernaum, and there was in the synagogue a certain man who had a devil, and he cried out, saying, Let me alone, what have we to do with thee, Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know that thou art the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, 
Hold thy peace, unclean spirit, and come out of the man. And presently he came out of him and did not at all hurt him. The following things were all said, were also said by a Pharisee. I saw a great company come, uh, came to Jesus from Galilee and Judea and the sea coast and many countries about Jordan and many infirm persons came to him and he healed them all. And I heard the unclean spirits crying out and saying, Thou art the Son of God. And Jesus strictly charged them that they should not make him known. After this, another person whose name was Centurio said, I saw Jesus in Capernaum, and I entreated him, saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy. And Jesus said to me, I will come and cure him. But I said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou should come under my roof, but only speak the word, and my servant shall be healed. And Jesus said unto me, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And my servant was healed from that same hour. Then a certain nobleman said, I had a son in Capernaum who lay at the point of death. And when I heard that Jesus was coming into Galilee, I went and besought him that he would come down to my house to heal my son, for he was at the point of death. He said to me, Go thy way, thy son liveth. And my son was cured from that hour. Besides these also, many others of the Jews, both men and women, cried out and said, he is truly the Son of God, who cures all diseases only by his word, and to whom the devils are altogether subject. Some of them farther said, This power can proceed from none by God. Pilate said to the Jews, Why are not the devils subject to your doctors? Some of them said, The power of subjecting devils cannot proceed but from God. But others said to Pilate that he had raised Lazarus from the dead, after he had been four days in his grave. The governor, hearing this, trembled, saying to the multitudes of the Jews, What will it profit you to shed innocent blood?